Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 casting with your host HNN. Today's casting is a strategy casting for Terran players. It is the Terran vs Zerg matchup. And before I talk about the strategy, let me introduce my Zerg opponent for today. His name is J Touch. He has 2200 points in Diamond Level League at the time of this replay. You can click the link in the description below to check out his stats. So uh, I believe he is a fairly competent uh, Zerg player. So let me get back to what type of strategy we're doing today. It is a cheesy strategy, but if you execute it just perfectly, there is nothing the Zerg opponent can do. And basically, what it is is a very vari variation of the Macarax. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Macarax. Basically, a Macarax is uh, building and barracks, and then two supply. I mean, two two depots. No, two bunkers. Sorry, not depots. Two bunkers in front of your opponent's base to block them in. But instead of doing two bunkers, we are doing two barracks to block them in. So it is a fast, faster blockage. And uh, most Zerg players do not scout this early because we were building two barracks right after our first supply depot. So my first supply depot already went down. I am sending my two SCVs straight towards his base because the first thing I want to go for is two supply, I mean two barracks to block his ramp. And once I have two barracks down, I know I have him blocked right away. So here we go. I have two SCVs on my way and these two SCVs are building two barracks. One barracks. Two barracks. Okay, now I know he's blocked. Now, right after I know he's blocked, the very first thing you want to build after this is not a supply depot. You want to build a refinery right after your two barracks. Um, there we go. Here goes my refinery. And another thing to notice is uh, most of the time, Zerg players will have a scout already out. You need to put at least one SCV on this scout because you don't want him to go somewhere and build a uh, expansion in some dark corner of the map. So you need at least one SCV always following this uh this drone. If you can kill him, go ahead and kill him. So anyway, the first the, now back to the refinery. The reason we're going to refinery is because we want to build a marauder as fast as possible. So I have my two barracks going up. I still don't have my second supply depot. I only have one at the moment. So I have two two barracks already went up and now I am making two marines. And now after I have my two marines come out, I will uh I'm gonna lift this barracks right here for vision of the top area up here and uh, we'll build a bunker under it. And once we have a bunker we need a uh, marauder inside of it. Okay here goes my second supply depot. Okay there we go and bunker bunker there we go bunker. Now the reason we need a bunker is because um, most Zerg players they the, the the way they break out of a container is they make a spine crawler and they like to poke away at the units at the bottom because you know because most of the time people don't have vision of the top and spine crawlers have um, a very, fairly large range so in order to counter that we need a very fast marauder which is why I went for a refinery so early on and once we have a marauder inside of the bunker we will be able to counter any spine crawlers trying to poke away at our bunker and plus we have this flying barracks right here which will be used for vision and also scouting so once we have this uh, flying barracks we constantly have to scout our Zerg opponent to see what he's doing and let's see what else am I forgetting oh yes the layout now another important thing about the layout um, once you have to contain the Zerg player is thinking about anything he do can do to break out he's thinking about mass roaches or mass bailings or a Nidus Canal so that's pretty much three things you have to worry about bailings, roaches, and Nidus Canal so as you can tell I'm using my barracks to scout him right now so I can see exactly what build he is going for to break out. So I know he has two hatcheries going up at the moment so I know he wants to break out really bad. And I see him upgrading Zergling speed. So I'm assuming he's going for maybe bailings. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. But anyway that's not important. What's more important is your blockage. You need at least two layers of blockage. Now if you notice I built my bunker at the bottom right here because a this, this barracks up here is much more powerful and harder to break because if if I had a weak building up here and he broke this barracks he would run past all my units and go straight towards my base which has nothing in it so if you notice look at my layout I made my strongest buildings on the outside of uh, the blockage so that even if he breaks maybe this uh, bunker right here he still has to fight all my units inside of inside of um, this block, this base right here. 
Um, that's just me scouting. If you, if you uh, probably missed that earlier, I traded off my dying barracks for uh, a brand new one. Okay, I probably missed that too. My uh, marauders inside of the bunker was able to uh, shoot this spine crawler. So actually, it worked out fairly well. Now, once you have your blockage down, one thing to remember is you need at least three barracks on the bottom pumping out men constantly because you have no idea what how he's going to break out the front. So three barracks on the bottom pumping out men constantly and upgrade them too. You need stems, shoes, upgrade weapons, everything. Because what we're basically doing is we're trying to fight a uh, Zerg opponent one-on-one -on -one base. Now some people will say, you know, they're going to fast expand. Um, if you fast expand once you have the blockage, I think it's a little risky because your Zerg opponent is going to have a bigger army because his, his main goal of thinking is trying to break out. So your main goal of thinking should be keeping him contained. So you need at least three barracks put on men before you make an expansion. And another thing to remember is you need at least one barracks in your base to pump out a few marines to patrol for Nidus Canal. Uh, one mistake that I did in this game was I made my barracks in my base a little bit too late. But uh, I guess that's fine. You know, this game, the game still goes out pretty well. So let me go back to the contain. You need a double contain and a total of five barracks and two SCVs to repair anything, at least two. So, three barracks on the ground in front of his ramp to constantly pump out men, one barracks in the air for vision above the ramp, and to constantly scout him to see what he's going for with this flying barracks. And then you need your fifth barracks inside of your base to pump out some marines to uh, patrol for a Nidus Canal. You only need uh, one marine to uh, to kill a nice canal. I mean, two is better. We'll kill it a lot faster, but one marine should be good enough to uh, kill, kill a nice canal. Actually, um, I haven't tested that out, so I'm not, not. Don't quote me on that. So, but I know two marines will kill a nice canal for sure. Okay, it looks like his nice canal is going up, and I think I believe I spotted it a little bit too late. But uh, I guess I'm gonna let you guys watch a little bit of the action. Okay, um, that was a little bit of a fault on my part, it was because I built my barracks in my base uh, a little bit too late. Because I built my engineering bay first, I should have built my barracks first. But uh, eventually I kill all these links and um, I'm, I'm fine. So, I guess let me go back to base, uh, my blockage and see what's going on. Still scouting, just looking to see what he's building. Uh, I know it's mainly roaches, I didn't see any uh, ba bailing, I didn't see a bailing nest. And uh, once you uh, once you have the contain up, make sure you upgrade everything possible for your marines and marauders. Uh, as you can tell, I got plus one attack already, and I have stem, so my army is fairly decent. And now I got my marines uh, patrolling the base for another Ninus Canal, in case he tries to uh, come out again. Okay, see I got two marines shooting the Nidus Canal and it goes down, let's see, uh, it's halfway, halfway. Okay, so you need at least at least two marines to kill Nidus Canal. Um, one might be able to do it, but two, two to be sure. The reason I went up to attack him was because I saw no, I didn't see a bailing nest, so I knew my army was perfectly capable of countering whatever he had up here. You know, what I mean, no bailings, uh, marines and marauders are good enough. That's why I moved out. Okay, let me do a little bit of recap. Um, it's a very, uh, very viable build, uh, very strong, if you do not mess up, you should be able to kill your Zerg opponent. It's very hard to do, though, it's very hard to do, but, uh, practice it a couple times, you should, should be able to do. So, basically, what you want to do, after your first supply depot, 
uh, just go back up here. I built my first supply depot inside my base. After I had my supply depot, send two SCVs to block his ramp. Now, once you have his ramp blocked with two SCVs, let me rewind a little bit. There we go. I, once you have just ramp blocked with with uh, with two barracks, you want to go for a refinery as soon as possible. You don't want you put your supply de uh, a second supply depot down right away. You need a refinery as soon as possible so you can make at least one marauder. And now once you have your marauder, <clears throat> I'm gonna fast forward it. Uh, put them inside the bunker because a marauder inside of a bunker will be able to counter any spine crawlers at the top up here. Uh, it works on maps, uh, any, any, pretty much any map that a Zerg player has to spread, spread some creep. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the layout. <clears throat> now, hold on, let me fast forward it. <clears throat> okay, the layout. You need at least a double block. Uh, make sure the stronger buildings are facing towards your main base because you don't want him to break out an easy building and run past your whole army and uh, try to do a base trade or something like that. So that's why I have my barracks on top up here, barracks on top up here, and I'm blocking him in with supply depots. So he actually has to fight my entire army if he wants to get out. So, and another thing to remember is, you know, Zerg players, once you contain them, they are doing everything they can possibly think of to get out of the, get out get out of the base mass bailing some mass roaches so in order to counter that you have to upgrade your marines and marauders which is why I went straight for stems because I knew stem would help me I, I forgot to upgrade shoots this game um, was a little mistake on my part but that's fine with me I still had a pretty decent army because it had three barracks in front of his ramp um, pump, constantly pumping out men and I have one barracks in the air constantly scouting him to see exactly what he's making in order to break out and then I had a fifth barracks in my base. Uh, the fifth barracks in your base is just to make a few marines to scout for a uh, nice canal. You only need two marines to kill a nice canal. And I had an engineering bay because, you know, for whipping, weapons upgrade, uh, I, I felt that I had a good, uh, because I, I, knew I, I knew I was going to have to fight them. Uh, some Terran players, once they have a contain, they like to expand really fast, but I don't like to do that because, especially with this build, because I know the Zerg opponent really wants to get out, so I really need to beef up my army first before I actually uh, expand. And um, the back, let's see another recap. And the reason I moved out, hold on, let me fast forward it. And the reason I moved out to destroy his army be was because I had my barracks constantly scouting his base. I knew he had no uh, no bailings, so I knew. Uh, Plus one weapon upgrade and stem was good enough to take on uh, lings and uh, lings and uh, roaches. So basically, uh, I pretty much had the game in my paw park. And uh, I hope hope this replay helps you guys out. And I w I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, my next video, I will show you guys uh, my standard play against uh, Zerg players. So this is H and N signing out. <laughs>